Good morning. It is 521 October 26th. Earlier I just walked by this uh this cat right over here on this road. And he's still right there. And he's chomping on his meal. You see him. With a, he's chomping on a rat. And it's a big field rat. You know these small sewer rats. This guy's big. But uh that was pretty gross. Just saw him chomping on a rat. Anyway, how's your day going? Mine's is going okay. Still here, still doing my thing in the morning. Waking up, keeping myself accountable. That's so important. Sometimes you wanna run at 100 miles per hour and you don't have other people in your immediate circle of friends that wanna run that fast. So that group of accountability partners are out the window. So what do you do? You make your own self accountable and find something that you're passionate about, like me making these videos. I know, they're not the greatest quality at all. And who really wants to look at somebody who's talking to a camera with no background music and no visual effects and no cuts here and there, just raw video like this? Who is this made for, really? Well, thank my mom, <laughs> first of all, here's my mile. Thanks to my mom for, for supporting my channel. <laughs> Thanks for that, mom. Uh, and when I started off in the beginning of this, I said, for the most part, this is for me, this is for myself. This is one way that I can keep myself accountable and that uh, I don't miss a day. Because if I look back on my YouTube channel, then I can see every day I've got a different thumbnail and I've got a different video. Whether that video, video is one minute long because it got rained out, or whether that minute is 12 minutes long because I'm watching some guy race down the street on the highway over there. It doesn't matter. As long as I get one video in every single day. And uh, yeah, that's becoming a, a pattern, a thing that I do. And it's not very hard. It's not. Is, can the quality be better? Of course. Of course it can. Um, but just getting past that initial phase of myself is I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And so it was a big step for me to send this to my other friends. Uh, whether they watch it or not is, is, is besides the point. The point was me being able to just kind of put myself out there to people that I know and be fine with what they think and what they say and uh, whether the YouTube algorithm mentions this video to them or not, that's fine too. But being calm in myself in order to put myself out there like this. That's huge. Yesterday I've been watching this new uh, uh, series on YouTube. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to maybe turn into turn YouTube into a business rather than just a hobby. Uh, so yeah, some good 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 thoughts. And his basic thing in the beginning was your principle is you need to upload one video every single week for the next three years. That's that's the goal. That's the, the beginning goal. One video every week, every single uh, one video every week for three years. And he says, first, first goal, first goal, first. If you haven't uploaded a video, upload a video. That's step one. Step two is upload a video every single week. One video every week. And then he says, then you start to grow. You upload one video, one good video every single week. So. This is a video, what you're watching is a video. And maybe not even this, not even a, a video, because there's no edits at, not, at all. You know, so this is just raw footage. What do you call this a video? But anyway, video once a week and one good video a week, which means you've edited, you've put some thought into it, you've, you've thought it out, you wrote a script, you wrote um, a program behind the content that you made for that video. That's where a good video becomes. And then he's going to start talking about batching, which um, after a certain point, you start getting used to the habit of making a video. Then you get into um, getting better equipment. First and foremost, the most important equipment is, what do you think? Is it video? Is it lighting or is it audio? And if you said audio, you are correct. The most important piece of uh, content or sorry, most important piece of equipment is audio. 
because if anybody can people can sit through a bad a film with bad video but no one can sit through a video that has bad audio it's just something with with our mind and the way we're, we're built bad audio is just a no no go so he says if you're going to upgrade something upgrade your audio first good thing about audio audio is cheap audio isn't very expensive to upgrade to get decent decent hardware he says then you start you get you get lighting and you get cameras in in unison with each other because it doesn't matter how good your camera is if you've got bad lighting you don't have a big soft light on your face or you don't create those those uh you know highlights on your face then your production quality isn't going to look as good even with the best camera at the same time if you're shooting with an iphone which this is hello iphone but if you're shooting with the iphone and you have good lighting um the quality is good these cameras are good but they're not going to give that professionalism look but anyway that's that's far down the line that's after he's he's talking about it, getting good at making a one video a week for a year or something like that anyway so yeah i'm kind of going down this journey a little bit a little youtube journey we'll see where it takes me uh, we we'll see what i want to we have to niche down so find that one thing that you're really good at i always think about the dilbert uh, creator he said he worked in an office he and dilbert's that cartoon character that used to come out in sunday comics i don't know if it still does come on sunday comics but anyway dilbert is a cartoon character um and the creator he said he worked in an office he was an okay employee uh he was a writer in the office uh, and he was an okay writer and he was an okay cartoonist but he says when you put those three things together you make a very very unique and rare combination and so that's essentially where i guess this youtuber guy is, is just kind of funneling us towards like what are you good at and where can you leverage your skills or your situation in life in order to get uh, to the next level in youtube so I was thinking about what, what, what do I do? I like to sing. Um, I think I'm pretty good at online teaching. And that's kind of what maybe the direction I might want to go. I like computers. Um, and yeah, I, I like teaching children. And so those four things, if I can you know, hone those skills in and make a YouTube channel focused on that, not necessarily just putting up content like I am doing right now, just putting up content that I'm just teaching my classes and you can go and watch those 40 minute lessons if you want um, but more geared towards maybe uh, maybe you're a ESL teacher that's moving abroad that's looking to teach children but you're trying to make space on the online world like maybe that kind of niche niche it down a little bit like that so anyway he said find find what your niche 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 yeah anyway so that's what's been going on and uh, I'm just trying to integrate more things into my life and weave in new, new habits and new uh, systems and all this good stuff. And hopefully I keep growing as a person and I keep growing and expanding my mind and I keep growing and expanding my wallet too. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's part of the end goal, you know, that the, the effort that I invested now uh, will pay off later. Uh, but if not, if not, no problem because I'm enjoying the process along the way. And that's, hello. That's one of the things that Ali Abdal really talks about as he talks about the pilot, the plane, and the engineer. But he said the one of the most important thing is on that journey is that you have fun and try to tie some fun into it. Not silly fun or some enjoyment, I should say. Fun and enjoyment in the process because if it's not enjoyable to you, you're not gonna keep, keep doing it. And that, that kind of goes back to that uh, that fable we told on Friday about the farmer and the and the sparrow in the, in the tree, in the apple tree. You gotta find something that's in it for you, not selfishly, but just something that'll keep you going, keep you driven. So anyway, that's the net enough for this morning. Thank you again for checking me out and uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Remember everybody, you're amazing, awesome, great. Keep it up. And uh, if you like this content, again, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again. And you guys take care. Aloha. Love you.